Good afternoon, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. As you know, I did not upload this last, what was that, Monday? Just didn't have a ton of footage. There was a lot going on, just logistically, so I will play the footage that I do have now. Well, good afternoon, evening. It's kind of late to start the vlog, but we are starting, aren't we, Christopher? Yeah, you got energy. Both of you guys took a nice nap, but she's a little mad at me because I didn't put her in the vlog yesterday. I'm sorry. Do you forgive me? Oh, she won't even look at me. But you like me, right? <laughs> it's almost bedtime for you, too. It's just not been a good weekend of vlog time with the baby girl. Oh, little girl. We just got back from taking the kids on a walk. I'm sweating from just pushing a stroller. Barrel, I'm not in good shape. How about you? Yeah. All right, right on. So Lauren's leaving in like an hour to go hang out with Leslie. So thank you, Leslie, for ruining my Sunday evening with my wife. Daddy's sad. Yeah, Daddy's sad. What do we do for sad people? No. Can you give Daddy a hug? He's sad. Or are you just stuck? Aww. Give me a hug. I love you, Beryl. Mommy's sad now? She's sad now. Oh, I thought she was sad because she married me. Well, Chris, first, just you and me for dinner. How was the food? <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> uh, he's not supposed to be rolling his cups, so he's doing it on film. Evidence. How's it taste? Mm. Oh, gross. Like those strawberries? No. I spent all day cooking them. Yeah, let's get that up. Oh, cookie. You want a cookie? Well, you gotta eat the rest of your dinner. You know the rules. <laughs> oh, gross. Lauren was nice enough to make us some dinner, but Christopher's a very picky eater, so I ate the dinner, and Christopher got peanut butter and jelly and strawberries. His fave. I'm, I'm so weak, dude. Oh, what are you, dude? And you pick, oh. Oh, you're definitely my son. It's not a Ouija board, dude. It's just a table. You're creeping me out. All right, so Christopher wants to watch a little TV before bedtime, and I said if he cleans up, because I'm a good father, he can watch some. So take your food to your kitchen. Not even close. Not even close. Kitchen's over there, bro. Well, I mean, it's in the kitchen. Can you just place it down? What? No, no, no. Oh, God. Cleaning might not be your thing. Should be, though. Nope. Ow. So, I've been so bored that Lauren was gone. I haven't had much to vlog. And she came back. Came back for me. And I appreciate that, Lauren. How was your hangout with Leslie? It was good. I got to see her house for the first time. Was it boring? Um, Agonizing? She was very excited to show me all the different pictures that they were going to put on the wall and everything they got for their wedding. That's like a child. That's like a child showing their new toy. So I just tried to be excited for her. Leslie, if you're watching, I'm not excited for your life. She did ask her middle schoolers about you, though. Really? What? Why? Well, they asked if... Or they were talking about YouTube, and so she said, do you guys know Roman? And they said, yeah. And then they said, she said, do you know John? And they were like, yeah. And then she said, I'm friends with him. Well, that's a lie, because we're not friends. <laughs> and we're back! Hi! What are you doing? You don't know what to do. You're such a performer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's one of his favorite songs, Going to the Zoo. Going to, how about you? Who's coming over to babysit? How about you? Okay, cool. Yeah. We're having Booker come babysit again, so Lauren and I can go off, but we're also doing some chores because we have to drop a car off. 
We haven't had to drop a car off in a long time, so I guess we're lucky. But I'm coming with you. You're coming with me? Yeah. I thought you were going to hang out with Booker and show him Monsters University. I'm coming with you. I don't think so, pal. I'm coming with you. But you can have a hug. I'm coming with you. Oh, I love you. Well, to drop off our car, I don't know if you can hear that noise. That's why we are actually taking our car to the shop. But to drop it off, we have to go across town. Not like super far, but through like the busiest rush hour time. So that's fun. <laughs> and I'm driving alone right now. Lauren left me alone for a little bit. She didn't like leave me, leave me. But later probably. But we are going to dinner first because we're hungry and we're adults and we make our own choices. That's the beauty of it. So we're going to go to Lavash. We've been there before in the vlog. It's one of our favorite like Mediterranean, Middle Eastern place. But it's it's wonderful. Definitely that's the kind of food we get a lot and I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is this traffic. So we're at Lavash. Haven't had it for a while. Forgot how flavorful it is. I can't decide right now if it's better than Meza. What do you think? Absolutely. Lavash is your favorite? That falafel's better than Meza's? I feel like Meza's falafel is untouchable. It's all about this pita. Uh, oh. Oh yes, the hummus. I'll slow it down when it goes in your mouth. As you saw, I actually didn't do that, sorry. I got a lamb shawarma, which is flavorful, but I think they actually make it a little bigger in Meza. Still, I'm not displeased. So I noticed something about how Lauren eats her hummus. Go ahead, dip it in there. She pushes it all to that side. She's made a little hummus pile, and she thinks that's normal, don't you? So you guys tell us in the comments how you eat your hummus or any dip. You like make a little pile and push, use your, your eating device, whatever, as a shovel to push the hummus. Oh, okay, Lauren wants to, to, Lauren wants to reason with us. Because if you had it smushed all along the plate, you wouldn't get very much in every dip, whereas I combine it so I get a bigger amount. <laughs> I agree with the practice. I don't think you're crazy. You're just weird. I just... Well, someone didn't want to go to sleep before we went on date night, so we have a third wheel. What are you doing? Hi. Aww. So happy. Well, I got to hand it to Lauren. She had some leftover hummus, and it was very easy to scoop because it was all together. But don't tell her I said that. I'll still make her feel weird. All right, Booker, how was babysitting? It was great. It was great? Yeah, I watched a good film. You did? What was it? Uh, Monsters. Monsters what? Um, Monster University. Yeah? Does it make you want to go back to school? No. No? Eliana, did you like the movie? Yeah. You did like the movie? Yeah. Nice. At least you had someone to help babysit with all these animals. Yeah. What are their names? I don't know. <laughs> there he is. Oh my. This is soft, isn't it? This is soft. Yeah. Like Mr. Soft. Softy. Mr. Softy, just like your heart. Now, do you say Diplodocus or Diplodocus? I think Brontosaurus, the old Brontosaurus? Like you, you say Dacus? Dacus. <laughs> you like all those characters? All the monsters? <laughs> well, Lauren had to take off for a little mom's night out. So it's just me and America's Got Talent. They get to reveal the winner. But I think we're all winners with all the talent that's been on there. <laughs> Alright, I'll watch it. Well guys, another ventriloquist won America's Got Talent. Spoiler, sorry. This time, it's a very young one, but geez, I think there's been like three of them that have won. Do I think they're talented people? Yes. Do I think they deserve to win? I don't know. I'm really surprised a couple of acts didn't make it even to the final three. But hey, I did my part. I voted. In the end, it was a great season, and if you don't like it, then who cares anyway? You don't care that I'm talking about this at all. Hope you like the double vlog today, even though some of it's ancient history like three days ago. Either way, we will see you next time in whatever it is.